Hello, my wonderful people. Good morning to you all, and I welcome so, us all in this uh, early morning broadcast of today, being Tuesday, January 17, in the year of 2023. Uh, why I always give that to my uh, broadcast is for people to remember, because everything can forget, but internet, internet never forget. Because there's uh, most of the broadcast or the comments or my uh, addressing the masses that i used to say so if when the time comes there are some people who will make use of it for reference and for record purposes so my dear people of biafra who are not subscribed to this channel please endeavor to do that as soon as possible make sure you turn on the notification button so that you'll be notified each time we go live or post something new on this channel or any other channel related to okute daily talk let us go straight into the business of this day because time is money mazin nam the kano i finally speaking from dss custody Concerning the offers, so as Soludo uh, claimed that he will stand as a shorty to Mazen Namdekano. So, but later on, we will go into the news to know whether the the, the leader of the IPOP, Mazen Namdekano, accepted the condition or not. We will see to that. Chatham House, P2B was stingy with his answers. Why Tunumbu was generous, Kenneth Okonkwo. Nigerian people, trouble they will. If you are in Lagos, Axis, or anywhere within the air virus, just be rest assured that the election of 2023 uh -huh, to APC is going to be do or die for them, not for Labour Party or any other political party. But for APC and PDP, I don't know what they are planning. Jagaban Army, Jagaban don't have his own army, in case you don't know. In the same uh, country that have only true federalism, that have only one policy. Which is the federal uh, character now the jagaban have his own army now tulumbu has declared war on nigerians in the upcoming elections what are the work of all this jagaban army what will be their work that is the question we need to ask ourselves but notwithstanding let's wait and see what the the security personnel or the nigerian security system what they will say about it whether they accept it or not we will see 2023, PDP fires back over APC's demand for uh, Mazi Atiku's arrest, says Tunumbu ineligible to contest, according to PDP and APC. P PD, APC and APDP, they are all the same. They are based on the same feather, they flock together. Arrest Atiku immediately for alleged corruption, Kiyamo test, EFCC, and ICPC. Imagine Keto, Keto calling a port black. Now nah, this Nigeria, eh? I don't know. Anyway, we we'll say to that when the time is right. Somebody whom the their presidential candidate have been surrounded with all kinds of uh, allegations, both home and abroad, is now calling for articles arrest. <laughs> nah, this this life no balance you. <laughs> anyway, sure. Let's see how it comes, or let's see how how it it turns out. But all these things is also to the advantage of. Uh, uh Mazi Peter Ubi of the Labour Party and other presidential candidates of the NNPP, Kwankwaso and AAC, Moire Sowore and others. Nigerian military bombs two notorious Boko Haram commanders to death. Where are there pictures of all these ones that we have bombed to death? No one can show you. That is to tell you that these people, all these their audio killings, that is what kept Nigeria the way it is today. Look at the other day in Niger State, that was on Sunday. A pastor was roasted alive. Tomorrow they will still come out and tell you that in that same Niger, there is no any kind of a Boko Haram or whatever that they have been defeated and chased away. Ah, uh, Nigeria and their lies. I'll be Nigerian politicians and their lies. How I plan on handling IPOP and Yoruba Nation when I became president. Uh, Mazi Peter will be speaking. Government have attacked INEC office in Enugu, K1 policeman on the process. Who are behind all this attack is what I cannot tell, but they have to be extra, extra careful because all these things, at the end of the day, it will be recorded that they, or they will be pointed at the IPOB and the ESN have done that, or their friends that the one that destroyed all this. But Nigerian, uh, what do they call it? Nigerian uh, government knows about the unknown government and they know their mode of activities. They are the one behind all this. And they are the one, they are, the, the Nigerian government is also the, the, the unknown government that we know in this country today so nobody can tell me that they don't know about about them or they never um in any way uh, 
uh, knows what is happening in the southeastern region. So let us control, continue with our news. Sorry to say, the embattled leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Mazi Namdekanu, has reacted to a move by Governor of Anambra State, Charles Soludo, to stand as a shorty for, for his release from the Department of State Service, DSS. Soludo had earlier charged the federal government to release the Biafra agitator, stating that he would stand as a shorty for him if needed. IPOP Publicity Secretary Ima Powerful had reacted to the governor's offer saying that uh, it was belated and not needed at this time. According to him, the time for a shorty has passed as all charges against Mazin Namdekano have been struck out by the Court of Appeal, stressing that the federal government of Nigeria or the Fulani government of Nigeria was violating the court order for, by, not ref by refusing not to release Mazin Namdekano. In a statement on Monday, one of the legal counsel to Kano, uh, uh, a lawyer, Jimako, who visited him in the custody of the JSS, said the IPOP leader has asked him to convey his appreciation to Governor Soludo for making a call for his release. Uh, Jimako also noted that Kano's nutrition and, me and the medicals remain erratic. Update I just concluded the visitation with Mazin Namde Kano. He directed me to publicly convey uh, his appreciation to Governor Chukwu Masoludo for the political coverage he displayed by demanding his unconditional release. On a sad note, he told me that his institution and medicals remain erratic, Ejima 4 tweeted. On a hearing, so Mazen Namdekano have already sent out his greetings and also uh, applauded uh, Chukwu Masoludo on the basis he said he would stand a security or calling for his unconditional release. At least, let it be on record that uh, one of the uh, the current and the serving uh, eastern uh, southeastern governor have said something about Mazin Namdekano. At least it would give him the kind of courage to know that at least, even if others are animals, there are still ones who have a human sympathy, even if not from his heart. But for the fact that he has voiced it out, we, we thank you, Chukuma and Bafu Chuludo. You have done uh, what the governor of Abia State, Akokezi Bazo, could not do. What the governor of Imo State, I think that one self is among the people that hold him as in the canon. And what the governor of Ebony State cannot do. Therefore, my they are the one that is the that that they are the problem of Mazinam the Kano that formed the Bubago Abubenkita. Chatham House, Peter B was uh Peter B was stingy with his answers. White Numbu was generous, sharing questions according to Kennedy Okongo, the first person for uh, the Labour Party presidential candidate. PCC. The spokesperson of the Ubidati Presidential Campaign Council, Kennedy Okonkwo, has compared the method used by his principal, Peter Ubi, in answering his questions to that of the presidential candidate of All Poverty Congress, APC, Bola Ahmed Tulumbu. Nigeria News reports that the Labour Party flag bearer visited the Chatham House in the United Kingdom on Monday to respond to questions on how he intends to lead Nigeria if he wins next month's present, uh, presidential elections. Obi personally answered all the questions. None was delegated to his vice, even his vice was there. And all the questions directed at him as opposed to his counterpart in the APC who delegated the questions to his heirs during his appearance to avoid of making gaps and other other etc., etc., mistakes that he used to make in the public. So, you people should not blame the old man. Of course, Tunumbu has said that uh, his decision to delegate the questions was to show the spirit of unity in his team. No, he said that as a team ship, according to that, that English is not correct to politically and uh, and uh, uh, judici judiciary, it is not uh, correct, <laughs> according to Kennedy Okonkwo. Speaking of his appearance, Okonkwo during an interview on Chinese televisions. Politics today said that Obi was stingy with the questions thrown at him and refused to share with uh, uh, share them with with his delegates in the Chatham House. According to him, Peter Obi's appearance at Chatham House is not only appearance that will further Labour Party for for okay Labour Party or his candidacy. His appearance has projected Nigeria as a pride of the black race. You get it. I am proud of my principal, according to Kenneth Okonkwo, who was so stingy that he went to Chatham House and he refused to share questions. He was uh, answering 
all the questions in contradiction to the generous APC candidate who went there and shared all the questions for other people to answer for him. That marks the basis of the leadership he will be talked about. Yes, of course, if you are claiming to be a leader, you must stand your, your ground and do what? I represent your people, the people who voted for you, not when a, a question or whatever issue arises, instead of you to tackle that issue, you will delegate it to someone else who will make the whole thing up. That's exactly what is complaining about the All Poverty Commission, the Congress, that is APC. Jagaban Army, Tulumbu has declared war on Nigerians in the upcoming general elections. The People's Democratic Party PDP has alleged that the presidential candidate of the ruling all, ruling all Poverty Congress, APC, Asiwaju Golamed Tunumbu, is planning to use his army to disrupt the upcoming presidential elections. I've been a Pablo Escobar with the We Want to Vote. This one, where you don't they prepare uh, your own army. Maybe when you get into office, the Nigerian military system will be under your own army, Abi, and, we are, and that army will be headed by your own son. Can't you see that this man has been started to 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 retrategize on how to run the government of the family, government of the people, no government of the fa family by the family and with the same family, and, uh, just like what he did in Lagos State, and he's still doing it up to tomorrow. The PDP in a statement by its National Publicity Secretary uh, Debo Olu 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 Gun, Olu Gumba, argued that the establishment of the security outfit has confirm this suspicion that the ruling party plans on creating chaos in the upcoming elections. We don't know their motive, so you cannot conclude yet. The opposition insisted that Tunumbu has declared war on Nigerians by creating his own security outfit and, dra and uh, dropping them in uh, uniforms. Hmm. The statement reads, if, uh, uh, before I continue, say, if you tell me uh, that uh, Tunumbu, uh, Shetima, and the rest of them, they are not aware of uh, this thing or faces Kiyamo them. They lied. Nobody can walk up there. Now they are trying to claim that it was a youth leader that uh, tried to do Kineko Kineko, but uh, you, we cannot be fooled by all this kind of on a, on a warming mouth on social media. Uh, the statement reads, the PDP allows that the establishment of a dangerous militia code named Jagaban Army by the All Progressive Congress APC and its presidential candidate Aswaju Bolambo Tunumbu further confirms PDP position that the APC plans to unleash violence in uh, on innocent Nigerians and disrupt the 2023 general elections. How many army can they even produce? I mean, every, everything about uh, you people, this PDP is about politics. Any small thing you jump on and begin to castigate. Even if you form, uh, how can we form the whole army that will go around the whole state, causing havoc? That thing can only happen in Lagos State, where he have base. Not uh, cannot bring his army to come uh, somewhere in the eastern region or not east, northwest, and north central. It cannot happen. So let us just take it as if uh, nothing happens. But uh, the security agency m must intervene on this very matter before it gets out of hand. Because doing this, we also encourage other uh, other political parties to do their own. Yes, because if you do this one now and nobody complain, other ones will have their own army, Labour Party army. Uh, articulated army, uh, so the army, Kwankwaso army, and the rest of them. And by doing so, Nigeria will be do what Nigeria will scatter by establishing a militia and dropping them with a military uniforms. The APC and Asuaju has declared war on Nigerians and openly died the Nigerian military apparently with the aim to undermine our national security architecture and sovereign and sovereignty as a nation. Olu Gunwaba recounted how the PDP on several occasions has alerted the citizenry to plans by the APC to, de to destabilize the electoral processes. He lamented that the Tunumbu and the APC uh, are a present danger and should be placed on a watch list. The publicity secretary alleged that the formation of the militia is the first step in a series of plots which is in compliance with the Tunumbu's directive to take power by all means. Of course, they can achieve whatever they want to because having this now, they will inform other APCs in other uh, other uh, uh, geopolitical zones to form their own uh, uh, Jagaban army so that uh, they can do whatever they want to do on the day of uh, the election. 
but let's not uh, forget that we have a country and we have a security personnel. In his directive, in the lead video, Aswaju charged his followers that political power is not going to be served in a restaurant or like an a la carte, according to how he put it. It is not served uh, uh, a, la, a la carte. It is what we are uh, doing. It is being determined. You do it at all costs, fight for it, grab it, snap it, sn snatch it, and run with it, according to uh, the Jagaban of Lagos State, the city boy. There are already apprehensions in the public space that the APC has been recruiting, training, and are aiming talks and terrorist elements in secret locations across the country and the stockpiling ammunition for the harassment, miming, and killing of Nigerians before, during, and after the 2023 general elections. Evidence of their nefarious activities is already manifest in many parts of the country, according to the spokesperson or the permanent secretary of the PDP Presidential Campaign Council. The PDP has been made aware of plot by the APC to use the Jagaban Army, which is designed to operate in fake military outfits similar to that adorned by the APC, usually at a public event recently, to pose the soldiers to harass it and terrorize innocent Nigerians. The, the PDP Tower subsequently called on President Muhammad Buhari to take immediate action against the APC flag bearer to endure that, uh, uh, that, uh, that, that, that he doesn't derail the democracy of this country called Nigeria. Our party also charges the security agencies to take immediate action to invite the presidential candidate of the APC for questioning as well as arrest the APC youth leader, Dayo Israel, and other APC leaders involved in this threat to the existence of our nation, he added. 2023, around the corner, PDP fires back over APC's demand for articles arrest, says Tunumbu ineligible to contest. That is the case of Port calling Keto Black or Keto calling Port Black. The People's Democratic Party PDP has alleged that the presidential candidate of the All Poverty Congress, APC Bolame Tunumbu, is ineligible to contest for the office of the Nigerian president. Why not a uh, INEC to disqualify these two people, self? Leave their running mate to choose another running mate so that they can proceed with this election because uh, these two people are not in any way qualified to even run a, as a minister in the Nigerian uh, uh, this in, in uh, any office in Nigeria. Because they have been corrupted and they have been indicted in many ways. Indicted, have been indicted, indicted uh, anyway, anyway, anyone. The main opposition party claimed that the effect of Tunumbu's allegation, conviction, and forfeiture of the sum of 460,000 confirms his disqualif disqualification. The Nigerian News report that the PDP, in a statement issued by its National Publicity Secretary, Debo Olunguba, on Monday, alleged that the APC was engaged in, a, in an irresponsible attempt to divert public attention from the issues affecting the Nigerians. Nigerians. APC's atrocious record and its vexations misruled by demanding that the PDP presidential candidate Atiku Abubakar should withdraw from the presidential race on account of stimulated allegations by the APC. It was learned that the PDP reaction was following the demand of the APC presidential campaign council asking the PDP flag bearer Atiku Abubakar to do what? To step down for the election. And two of them have to step down because there is a corruption allegation hanging on both their neck. Let the INEC and the people that matters, people who have mouth to, to, to talk on this, the lawyers, the science we have in this country, rose and say something before it is too late. We have barely 39 days to go in these general elections. Nigerian News earlier reported that the APC Presidential Campaign Council demanded the immediate arrest and interrogation of Article over allegations of corruption leveled against him. It was gathered that the chief spokesperson of the APC and PC uh, Presidential uh, uh, Campaign Council, Faisus Kiyamo, the SON, not SAN, this one is the son, not son, this one have already, have, his son have already expired. Um, I believe this son have expired date. So that of Faisus Kiyamo have expired. It's his son now. Made the demand at a press conference in Abuja on this very Monday. Kiyamo stated that about a week, the nation was shocked by the grave revelation by Atiku's former uh, media aide, Michael Achimugu. 
with iron cast evidence against the former vice president. He asked security agencies in the country to arrest and question the former vice president for allegedly fleecing the nation's fund using special purpose vehicles SPVs between 1999 and that of 2007. However, in a swift reaction, the PDP in a statement submitted that it is indeed ironic that uh, an embattled Tunumbu who is uh, beluggered by uncountable cases of fraudulent activities, including perjury, forgery, treasury, looting, corruption, and narcotic related conviction, can attempt to impugn on the impeachable integrity of the PDP presidential candidate, according to Juno Malaye. For clarity and for the interest of Nigerians, it is on record that Atiku Abubakar is one of the most investigated public officials in this country. It is also on record that in all the investigations undertaken over him and his affairs, Atiku Abubakar was never found culpable in any of the allegations, according to Dino Malaye. In contrast, however, the APC presidential candidate has a litany of confirmed legal impediments on very grave issues, including those that border on in international crime, namely trafficking in narcotics and taking proceeds of narcotics. In the recent case revealed in the United States of America, it is on record that the APC presidential uh, candidate forfeited the sum of 460,000 US dollars, which was confirmed and found to the proceeds proceed of trafficking in narcotic an international crime for which Nigeria, being a signatory to the International Convention on Trafficking in Narcotics, is obliged to enforce. The effect of the conviction and forfeiture of the sum of $460,000 by Asuaju uh, Tunumbu confirms that he is ineligible and not qualified to contest for the office of the President of Nigeria as required by the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended. For clarity, section 137, subsection 1, subsection D of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, 1999, as amended, provide that 1. A person shall not, uh, shall, not, uh, shall not be qualified for election to the office of president if D. He is under a sentence of death imposed by any competent court of law or tribunal in Nigeria or a sentence of imprisonment or fine for any offense involving dishonesty or fraud by whatever name called, or for any other offense imposed on him by any court or tribunal, or substituted by a competent authority for any other sentence imposed on him by such a court or tribunal. Having been convicted, sentenced, and fined for narcotic trafficking in a criminal suit, filed under the United States Criminal Code. As Waju, Tunumbu cannot, by Section 137, Subsection 1D of Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria of 99 as amended, seek office as President of the Republic of Nigeria. The APC presidential candidate has not come out to deny the conviction and forfeiture or show evidence of any attempt by him to challenge or appeal the judgment, apparently, believing that it will slide with time as Wadi Tunumbu ought to know that time does not run against the state in a criminal matter. He should therefore withdraw from the presidential race, having been found ineligible and did not qualify to run or to contest for the office and the president of uh, Nigeria under the provisions of Nigerian constitution as amended. You get it? Okay, you don't get it, then forget it. Arrest article immediately for alleged corruption, Kiyamo test, EFCC, and ICPC. When, when they are arresting him, they will also arrest your own uh, uh, principal because two of them are better of the same feather, feather that flows together. The Minister of the State for Labor and Employment, Facebook Kiyamo San, has called for the arrest of the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar, over corruption allegations. Kiyamo, who is the chief spokesperson for the All Progressive Congress APC Presidential Campaign Council, made the call in a petition to the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission EFCC and Independent Corrupt Practices and Other Related Offenses Commission ICPC and the Code of Conduct Bureau CCB. 
According to the petition, Kiyamo asked the chairman of the anti graft agencies to arrest or invite Atiku for questioning over allegations that he collided with his then boss, ex president Krusegu Nobasanjo, to fleece the country and steal public funds using what he deemed termed as special purpose vehicles, SPV. The, the minister said the alleged offenses border on money laundering, criminal breach of trust, and criminal misappropriation conspiracy and other offenses against the code of conduct for public offices he also vowed to get a court injunction compiling the agencies to arrest or invite the former vice president for questioning if they fail to act on the petition kiyamo said nigerians have been worried over the recent revelations by a whistleblower and ex head to atiku michael achimugu alleging that the former vice president laundered money through some companies stamped at SPV using trusted allies as shareholders and directors of that same companies. He said for about a week now, Nigerians have been in shock over the public revelations of the whistleblower, Mr. Michael Atimugu, who has provided the nation with evidence of letters of appointment by Atiku Abubakar, emails, documents, audio clips, affidavit, and his direct oral evidence as to how Atiku, who happens to be the president's presidential candidate of the PDP during his tenure as vice president of Nigeria between 1999 and 2007, collided with his then boss, ex president Olusegun Basanjo, to flee the country and steal public funds using what he termed as SPV. Those SPVs were companies which Atiku administratively registered upon assumption of office as the vice president with the approval of Obasanjo using trusted allies as shareholders and directors. The purpose was to divide government contracts to these companies as consultants and then pay monies into these companies and use those monies to fund the PDP, their private business and family activities. Attaching certified true copies of the affidavits sworn to and released to the public, public, public by the whistleblower Achimogu, the minister asked the agencies to act with the alacrity, not minding Atiku's current position as a presidential candidate. Well, while noting that the uh, matter, uh, matter was of great national interest, Kiyamo made reference to the investigation by the Federal Bureau of Investigation into the allegation of misuse of private emails by Hillary Clinton when she was Secretary General of Secretary General during the 2016 presidential election in the United States of America. He added, in fact, the case Clinton was referred to to the Justice Department for likely prosecution few weeks to actual voting. I understand that the law enforcement agencies may be reluctant to act simply because of the perception of a persecution of a presidential candidate that uh, that 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 this may evoke. However, facts are scare are sacred. The facts are so far presented to the world clearly in the in the indicate that Atiku has a case to answer in other crimes when such serious allegations arose in the middle of campaigns, the law enforcement agencies acted decisively. To take further notice that if you fail, refuse or neglect to act, I shall be proceeding to the court to compare you to act, according to Fesus Kiyamo the Son. Nigerian military, they don't bombard the two notorious Boko Haram commanders to death. The pictures is nowhere to be found. That is Nigeria for you. Audio killings. The Nigerian military have located another victory in the fight against terrorists and insurgents in the country with the killing of two notorious Boko Haram commanders. Nigerian News understand the Boko Haram commanders identified as Abu Ubaida and the Malam Yusuf Abe Abba were killed during airstrikes by the Nigerian Air Force in Shiroro, Niger State. The terrorist leaders were killed along with uh, about 40 of their foot soldiers at uh, an abandoned warehouse in Kube, a popular community in Shiroro local government area, according to uh, reports of then by PR Nigeria, Premium Times. Quoting a defense intelligence operator, the publication narrated that Abu, Abu, Ubaida, and Abba were killed when a strike conducted by a Nigerian Air Force 
aircraft attached to the operation waypoint raided their enclave recently. It will be recalled that the, on 22 December of 2022, the Nigerian Air Force air strike struck a terrorist gathering at uh, Kulebe in Shiloro local government area again. Several terrorists were killed, but it was unclear if any of the terrorist kingpins was killed, was killed, eliminated in the airstrikes. Consequently, after the said airstrike, preliminary investigations via exploitations of several sources revealed that there was underground, there was underground in the warehouse where the terrorists run to hide whenever the, 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 the Nigerian Air Force aircraft flies over the area. It was also revealed that the terrorists hibernate within the location and bikes and bikes seen at different locations carrying fertilizers to the warehouse. Wow. These fertilizers are used by the terrorists to produce impoverished explosion device, IEDs. According uh, Nigeria Air Force fighters jets were dispatched with the mission of ensuring total destruction of the warehouse and annihilation of the terrorists, said the intelligence operatives. The successful airstrikes have been confirmed by the Nigeria Air Force spokesperson Air Komodo Wap Megida, who noted that the military will sustain will sustain the offensive operations against the Boko Haram elements. How I plan on handling IPOP and Yoruba Nation when I become president of Nigeria. Peter will be speaking. Presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Grigori Obi, has disclosed how he plans on addressing agitators in Nigeria if he becomes the president. Speaking on Monday at Chatham House, London, the former Anambra State Governor stated that while he condemns all agitators as he is not in support of them, he would love to get to the root of their grievances. That is a simple thing to do. He opined that 63% of Nigerians are in massive poverty, which is fueling the agitations in Nigeria. Answering the questions posed to him, Obi said, I condemn all agitators, but in condemning them, you have to look at why all these agitators are all over the place, including IPOP, the Urban Nation, and other, uh, etc., etc. I will declare war on power. Obi has also stated that if elected as a Nigerian's next president, he will declare war on the power sector and would watch uh, to see who will stand in the way. Nigerian reports that the former governor of Anambra State said this today while speaking at the Chatham House in the United Kingdom. Ubi and his running mate Yusuf Dati Ahmed are in the UK to further disclose their plans for the Nigerians if elected to succeed the incumbent governor led by President Mamadou Buhari. Ahead of the February 25th presidential election, Ubi lamented the poor state of the Nigerian power sector comparing the Nigerian power generation capacity to South Africa. The Labour Party presidential candidate said he will declare war on the sector when he becomes president. You have heard them say we don't have structure. That structure is the one that, uh, the one that has uh, dismantled Nigeria. We will destroy that structure of criminality. I can assure you that, according to Peter Grigori Obi. We are going to turn around the power sector. Nigeria today generates 56,000 megawatts for 200 million people, and South Africa, the second biggest in terms of economy on the continent, 60 million people generates over 40,000 megawatts. Yet, they have declared an emergency in the power sector. I have said it that anyone can generate up to 100,000 megawatts with the, our license, Obi said. He added, if a country with 60 million population generating over 40,000 megawatts is declaring emergency on power, what do you think about uh, with 2 million people generating 5,000 to 6 to 6,000 megawatts we do? War on the what? On the power sector. I'm going to declare war on power and I will solve it. Anybody who stands in the way, so be it. May God help you hey, to survive. The last year, but not the least, government again no, don't struck uh, INEC office in Enugu state and kill one policeman on the process. Government on Sunday night attacked, attacked and did, uh, the Independent National Electoral Commission INEC office in Enugu, South Local Government area. 
Nigerians learned that the criminals also killed a police officer in the attack. The development was confirmed in a statement released by INEC National Commissioner Fesus Okoye on Monday. According to Okoye, the incident is under investigation by security agencies. He further stated that the Interagency Consultative Committee on Election Security (ICCES) in Enugu State, uh, co chaired by the REC and the Commissioner of Police, has been convened to discuss the latest incident and map out strategies to better protect INEC offices and personnel and materials. Okoye wrote, the Resident Electoral Commission for Enugu State, Dr. Chuku Emeka J. Chuku, has reported that our office in Enugu, South Local Government Area, was attacked by unknown government. The incident occurred around 9 uh, 12 p.m. yesterday, Sunday, 15 January, the year 2023. The security guest house was raised. Unfortunately, the attackers could not gain access to the main building. As a result of the rapid response from the police and army personnel from 82 Division, the state commissioner of police and the REC were personally at the scene immediately after they received information about the attack. Of the two policemen deployed to protect the facility, one of them lost his life while the other sustained injuries and is receiving treatment at the hospital. Meanwhile, the, the, the destroyed guest house, the destroyed guest house will be rebuilt and the commission is proceeding with its perpetrators for the 2023 general elections in Enugu state and entire country as scheduled. So my dear people, this is where we are coming to the end of this early morning broadcast. If you are not getting your PVC, endeavor to do that anytime soon. And make sure you vote wisely, defend your vote. You have seen what is happening on the internet. The internet now is in a total dismay. I mean, the social media is in internet dismay of the accusation uh, led against uh, Atiku Abubakar by Mike Achimugu, at Michael Achimugu, and also the accusation hanging on the neck of our dear city boy, uh, which is called the Agbadu, uh, the one that is going to uh, uh, employ 50 million youths. He want to kill all the 50 million youths to go to the Zamfara, I mean to go to uh, Zambesa Forest to be fighting uh, uh, insurgents, and that is what he said. I go to deploy 15 million youth. What are they going to eat? After all, there's Agbadu, there's corn, there's a maize, and the rest of They can even eat a uh, uh, ayaya, and we get ayaya, in spite of those things. That is uh, what he promised us uh, earlier on. But now, no one is talking about that again. And he, in one occasion, he also come out and tell us go and renew your PVC because your PVC have expired. Permanent voter's card is what is being called. No expiry date, my dear Jagaban, a B city boy, or whatever you may call him. And this uh, face with Kiyamu, jumping up and down, get Atiku arrested, get Atiku arrested. If he indicts Atiku in this very matter because of uh, this corruption, not that I'm supporting the corruption or the allegation laid against him, uh, he's proven uh, uh, he's innocent uh, or less approving guilty. Uh, how, how do they say this in a law? I don't install law in, in school, so I'm not a lawyer. You get it? So remember, anybody that lives in a glass house does not throw stone, as our people used to say it. Uh, hey, you are just uh, busy now throwing stone, throwing stone. I'll be uh, just uh, uh, simply creating a, a scene so that people will say that, oh, you will talk oh, tomorrow, uh, you will go, go and dig it up. After all, Fetus Kiyam will say something like this when they when like this, like that. But that is not the way. Understand? No, nobody that lives in glass house that throws stone up because you might not know either that stone will go and break your glass or it will break the mama's head. So that is what I'm saying, my dear. Don't throw stone because your own presidential candidate is not way well far from the truth too. Because if the if you sue Atiku to court, uh, they are my first uh, Dino Malaya and the rest of them. Uh, what do they call them? Um, Olegbendin, yeah, Kilorukwe. They will also come and they also sue your own. I think uh, this is for the interest is it just in the interest of Labour Party. It will put that is a, it is a, for it is again and their profit that this thing is happening in the so-called uh, uh, two political parties who have ravaged this country and brought us to this abject poverty that we find ourselves today. So my dear people of Biafra, the lovers of freedom and the ones who love what I'm doing, wherever you are at this point in time, I bless you, bless your words of your hand, that as you are going out today, blessings shall follow you, and coming back, blessings shall also follow you. Whatever you lay your hand to do this day, it shall all be blessed. 
and I bless the words of your hand, bless your family, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. I bless you in the K Ori and Afunanko, Ayanano Genano, that is the Igbo tradition. And I come your way again, I still remain your one and only Okute Daily Talk, where we speak to you the undiluted truth. Have a nice day and have a nice time. I bless you all, Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. We are signing out to Bon Voyage, according to my people.